What a day. Uh, Aaron just left the house and uh, I let me know that he's going to pick up Nathan. The three amigos. <laughs> we met at La Poe Hoy. Um, it's amazing how this all comes full circle, isn't it? And um, this is, I'm just going to share some things that um, uh, I, I just put it into the morphogenetic system. But I figure most people that know anything about a biocomputer understand why strands of DNA that are represented by frequencies, particularly as it relates specifically to the elemental command, <clears throat> why it is that um, uh, the indigos, okay, and, uh, and, and the bloodline that I represent, which is AB positive, which is Arcturian, tied directly to the Syrian council, right? Lyra, the template, if you will. And more specifically to the founder races, which is the founder race language. That is the language that is normal for me to speak. Okay. Mua, Kamalohati. Okay, and, and why? If you look at my roadmap that I've shared with all of you, uh, why I'm back here at La Polio. And I'm back with Aaron. Okay. And all the intersections that I've had, which is, remember, the cross, the, the cross inside of a sphere, a sphere of light, a Merkaba. Right. And um, the beautiful things about when you, when you get into software development or biocomputer development, it, it really is, is, logic say in a black hole system right when you have fallen innards of consciousness that no longer have a a code connection okay to an eternal sun so that they're experiencing being loved which means they're experiencing being healed and as this relates to software development and particularly i know when patty broussard who runs her own software and of course, Tanith of the Silver Legion had mentioned a few things about just because you have more strands of DNA doesn't make you better. Well, I'm androgynous, which is genderless, which means I experience an eternal sun, which is eternal unconditional love. So I figure that most of us can probably agree on if you're experiencing eternal love in your own heart, uh, you're running a very powerful and the fastest spin rotation of light which means you have the highest state of consciousness because the consciousness that you're experiencing is eternity. So you realize you're running the highest state of consciousness that allows you to know what's going on before others do. That's called a built-in looking glass because you don't experience time. You only experience what love is. That's what I was experiencing at age four. So you can see how somebody that's running eternity as a Manu as a facilitator that's going to work with indigo children that are coming in here because of what we know how to run as DNA, which means eternity, the one true God, can run everything. So that means that you have the ability, as an androgynous Manu, to communicate on a level at which indigos operate. It's actually quite easy. Okay, so they can begin to understand, as I'm going to do with Aaron, because we've already acknowledged certain things that are like major flags. He knows why he's here. He knows what a pole shift is. He knows what a virus is because of the level that his consciousness operates at. Okay. Aaron understands one thing that I said to him one day. You already know by the way that the universe operates in consciousness, in math and physics and biochemistry, if you will, that there are no coincidences in consciousness, why we experience, what we experience it, when we experience it, where we experience it. Which means wherever I'm supposed to be is exactly where I'm supposed to be at that moment, experiencing what I am at the opening and closing of a magnetic circuit. Aaron knows that. Okay, how many people do you know that, that do? So this isn't about making a comparative language in levels of intelligence that you operate at, even though that it does. But when you realize that you're running software and you're running different codes that represent frequencies, that represent consciousness levels that we operate at, particularly as it re relates to library circulation, 
It means that this isn't about what you know in knowledge based on the information that's held in memory. This is about the level of consciousness that you are that has a one connection, which means you're experiencing what love is. So what we're talking about is the level of consciousness that you're experiencing by virtue of the energy that we experience through our core, which is the core of our vibration, the soul vibration, the level at which a soul is operating at in order to protect and serve the all creation. So this is all about routing. This is all about the group member named traffic, routing traffic. Because if you're an inverter, you were certainly not a hub server, right? Because it means that you need a source of soul energy in order to keep a system that is an inverter or a dead light magnet running. So it needs a source of primal sound and light burn patterns in order to maintain what they're aware of, in order to maintain the war that they run and their mirror, which is a binary system. Binary war games. That's the polarity game between one and the other is the exchange rate, the rate at which electrons are donated and electrons are lost between two magnetic poles. If one overchases the other, which means the vampire is now accelerating at a higher rate of speed than a torque converter is by electron donations, what happens? A mass extinction event. That's simple logic because the math does not lie. Okay, enter the founder races. Why would the indigos, why would the DNA of the indigos be introduced and they would become big targets, right? Because if you have a unit of consciousness that is needing a source of energy in which to feed on, in which it's seeking to, as sharks go, collapse more of what we give love to. So now we're back to the vampire the inverters chasing the torque converters. If the inverters overtake the torque converters, the torque converters lose the binary game. That's called a collapse. That means that every frequency of every code that is being run by bio software computers collapses on itself because it can no longer maintain what it was once aware of through its soul arcing connection to experience real living light that we operate with, which is the Merkaba, the light spirit body, a living spirit, a living spirit of fire. So when you light yourself on fire to experience the eternal spirit of fire, that's an eternal sun. And why it's known as the eternal son of God. Whatever your definition of a God is, Right? That's why in Alcoholics Anonymous, it's known as whatever conception or perception that you have in vibration, uh, the level of frequency and vibration that you experience, what it is you experience in your mirror, is the nature of that spirit, which is the nature of that energy. To maintain what it's aware of in energy. Now you're into dead energy and living energy. So if dead energy overtakes living energy, what happens? A dead planet. A dead galaxy. Like Domino's. Right? The movie called Domino's with what's his name? Richard Widmark and Eli Wallach. That means that they all become expendables. Remember, the shark will feed on whatever is available as a source of energy to maintain what it's aware of, to do what? Run numbers, run algorithms. So it's learning through us. So the more that it learns through us, what it thus becomes, because it can duplicate it, maintains the attachment to a living cell. So living cellular organisms become the source of energy that it feeds on, 
from the small, smallest living cell, right, to the larger multicellular beings on a multidimensional, right, density, dimensional way to migrate itself on every density and dimensional level in which it's collapsing more and more of what it doesn't love in its mirror, which is what love is. And that makes it very simple when you're a four-year-old kid and you're able to map and thus become aware of that. So you realize, as I did, okay, because Aaron knew this, that they are targeted. So you want to avoid capture, which becomes a soul consciousness trap in which your energy now becomes up for grabs for a food density network. Density networks. Right. And um, so Aaron's probably going to let me know that, hey, I'm outside. Let's go. Um, So this is going to be interesting because this is where uh, Nathan and I and Aaron uh, are are reaching higher levels of frequency and codes. Um, And it's 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 a gift. It's a gift. Just like gifting electrons, gifting knowledge, gifting what we experience through each other by learning more about each other by virtue of being connected to each other, what we're all sharing with with each other for what healing, raising the meter, the meter, you know, the biovoltage meter, raising the meter, raising the consciousness to experience the higher frequencies. That's why they came in. So in software development terms, and you get into competition, you see that competition is binary and not trinary, the trinity, remember, Neo and trinity. Guys, three spheres logos. I work for mama. (laughs) I'm one of her messengers. I'm one of, I'm a messenger on behalf of the eternal sun, an emerald sun. When I close my eyes, there it is, big as you know what. Along with blue, like in blue, ka, chi, na, shanana, rishi, shanana, kamalohati, muah, 